beneath the mists of time, before the world began, beyond our understanding, and in the very beginning, there is God. Fathering history, mothering creation, bringing to birth all earth's peoples, and from the very beginning, there is God. Expecting the right moment, preparing the right way, revealing the right person, and for every new beginning, there is God. And now, welcoming his people, forgiving their foolishness, opening his house at the start of this new day, here is God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, in perfect community. Look now on us who look to you and hear our prayers. Where there is any falseness here today, smother it by your truth. Where there is any coldness, kindle the flame of your love. Where there is joy and hope, free us to share it together. Where there is anything we will not do for ourselves, make us discontent until it is done. And make us one, even as you are one. Now a man from the house of Levi went and married a Levite woman. The woman conceived and bore a son, and when she saw that he was a fine baby, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and plastered it with bitumen and pitch. She put the child in it and placed it among the reeds on the bank of the river. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. The daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river while her attendants walked beside the river. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her maid to bring it. When she opened it, she saw the child. He was crying and she took pity on him. This must be one of the Hebrews' children, she said. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get you a nurse from the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Yes. So the girl went and called the child's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed it. When the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and she took him as her son. She named him Moses, because, she said, I drew him out of the water. Thanks be to God.
Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
We remember all mothers, especially those who are struggling, to fill them with incandescent joy. To the mums who are remembering children who have died and pregnancies that miscarried. To the mums who decided other parents were the best choice for their babies. To the mums who adopted those kids and loved them fiercely. To those experiencing frustration or desperation in infertility. To those who knew they never wanted kids and the ways they have contributed to our shared world. To those who mothered colleagues, mentees, neighbourhood kids and anyone who needed it. To those remembering mums no longer with us. To those moving forward from mums who did not show love or hurt those they should have cared for. We honour the unyielding love and care for others we call motherhood, wherever we have found it and in whatever ways we have found to cultivate it within ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. May the Lord, whose steadfast love is as constant as a mother's care, sustain us in our life together and lead us out to live and work to his praise and glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all the peoples of the world today and forevermore. Amen. Amen.